There are six different types of appointments we see in the clinic. It's important to know what each one is and what defines each type of appointment. The first one we'll talk about is a new patient. A new patient is anyone who has not been seen in our clinic within the past three years. So that means anybody who hasn't been seen in four years, five years, six years, they're classified as a new patient. If they've never been seen there at all, they're classified as a new patient. A new patient appointment is going to be very, very different than any other type of appointment we see. And it's important to make sure that we set the patient up for success by setting their expectations of what to expect when they get into the clinic. The next type of appointment is gonna be considered a report of findings. We often abbreviate this by calling it a ROF, which will be seen in the computer system as an ROF. So a ROF or a report of findings is somebody who is coming back after their new patient visit to go over and discuss the x-rays, the findings, as well as their insurance and the treatment recommendations. Typically, this is a day two patient. So day, to, day one would be their new patient visit and day two is their report of findings visit. At the port of the report of findings, the patient's gonna go through the procedures with the doctor in the room, as well as the financial PA. If the patient decides to get on care, they will then move their next appointment to the next type of visit, which would be just a regular visit type. So this visit could be just an adjustment, it could be an adjustment with therapies, it could be all different types of therapies, but overall, it's just a regular visit. For the most part, Everything will be normal and protocol as far as them coming in, they sign in, they get their adjustment, they get their treatment, they make payment at the front desk, and they leave. The next appointment type that we have is a consultation, and this is pretty rarely used. It's not very frequent that patients will want a consultation, but we do offer free consultations in the event that our patients need to come in and discuss something with us. Typical cases where this might happen might be somebody who's coming in for a financial burden consul consultation where they're wanting to meet with somebody in billing where they can just sit down and discuss with them options. Sometimes they might wanna to talk to the doctor about their concerns in the treatment plan. And quite frankly, it's not something where they're gonna be treated, but they need to sit down and discuss with the doctor. These appointments are pretty short and there's no treatment rendered on a consultation appointment. Now, it can happen where somebody comes in for a consultation and decides to get treatment that day. At that point, we would just change their appointment type to a regular visit or whatever might be indicated as correctly. The next visit type would be a re-exam. Now, a re-exam can occur for one of two reasons. Number one, it's been six months or more since the patient has been seen in our office. If it's been six months or more, the doctor might need to do some additional testing and, exa and examinations as well as a history and make sure that the patient is still a great candidate for chiropractic care and then might also need to make an alteration to the treatment plan. The other reason for a re-examination would be that the patient got in some form of accident or they got a new injury. So we call this a new injury re-exam. Pretty frequently you'll find that our patients understand our protocols and our systems, but we always want to make sure that our re-exams are told on the front end that they are going to be receiving a re-examination either due to the length of time or something new that might have come up. This indicates to them that, hey, this is a little different, so there might be a different cost. You never wanna get the patient on the back end and then be upset because they didn't understand that they were actually gonna be receiving a different service than typical. Sometimes patients forget how long it's been since they've been in the clinic or what examinations the doctor will need to do. So we always wanna be very upfront and over communicate the expectations of the appointment. This is pretty much the basic types of appointments. Now let's talk about my absolute favorite appointment type, everybody's favorite appointment type, and that is the wellness appointment. Now the wellness appointment is just a quick adjustment and the patient is right back out the door. These are our favorite adjustments, they're our favorite patients, they're the ones that have already achieved maximum medical improvement and they're doing great in achieving the, the best results that we can give them through chiropractic care. These patients are typically your easiest to deal with because they've already been through all the ropes, they know what to expect, and they're quick and simple to take care of when you're in the clinic. If we could have a clinic of all wellness patients, it would be great. So make sure you keep an eye out for those wellness patients and always congratulate them and thank them for making that appointment so simple and easy and doing the right thing for their spine.